In what is undoubtedly a win for nuclear nerds like me, the Australian government has decided not to give a one Emmanuel Lydon 10 years of jail time for importing plutonium into Australia. Back in 2023, Emmanuel Lydon was the first person to be charged under Australia's nuclear non-proliferation law after they raided his home for his collection of spicy rocks. He got his plutonium into the country from a US website, Lucitaria which just happens to be the exact same website that we've worked with and have stuff from. Please. However, the government is now deciding to drop their 10 years of jail time in what is a win for common sense and nuclear science. Why? Because when they raided Mr. Lydon's home all the way back in 2023, it feels like it was a lifetime ago, they shut down his whole street. They evacuated people from their homes. They went in in hazmat suits. What? They were scaring people. It was a huge overreaction that cost a lot of time and a lot of money. And what did they find during this big show of force? Well, just tiny amounts of radioactive material for his elements collection. Material that would have been safe enough to eat. Huh? This is also a teachable moment for Australia. I know there is a large anti-nuclear contingent down under. It would be wise for all of those people to learn the difference between a small collection of spicy rocks and an actual danger worth sending a 24 year old science nerd to jail for. But what do you think? Is my Australian accent slightly offensive? Should I reach out to Emmanuel and send him a bunch of merch and say, hey, stay strong, mate, how you going? Let me know in the comments below.